Hello everyone, my name is Alexa and I am the Assistant Head of the Digital Services Department at the Niles Main District Library. Today we are going to be going over the basics of using lynda.com through the library's website. Let's get started. lynda.com is the leading online learning platform that helps anyone learn business, software, technology, and creative skills to achieve personal and professional goals. The lynda.com video library has engaging, top-quality courses taught by recognized industry experts. To use lynda.com for free, you must go through the Niles Main District Library website so you will not have to pay for a membership. First, log on to the library's website at www.nileslibrary.org. Select the Research tab, then select the letter L, and click on the hyperlink for lynda.com. Type in your Niles Main District Library card number with no spaces, and then your PIN, which is the same password you would use to check your library account on the website. When you're all set, go ahead and click on the blue Login button. On the home page of lynda.com, there are two main columns. On the right, this column is all about discovery and browsing content. There's new, popular, recommended videos, and then popular at your organization. If you find videos that do not interest you or relate to you, click on the not interested thumbs down icon. This will remove the video from your feed. Moving on to the left column, this section is all about you and navigating your content. If this is the first time you're signing in and you haven't watched anything yet, these pods will be empty. But as you start to watch content, they will populate with the materials that you've been watching. The Continue Watching section shows the last three courses that you were most recently watching and you can click on any of these thumbnails to jump directly back to that course. My Playlists are groups of courses you can compile to create individual playlists based on themes or needs. You can add to a playlist by clicking on the plus sign next to a video and choosing what playlist to save the video to. On the homepage, you also have your account information in the upper right corner. This includes your profile, playlists, history, recommended videos, certificates, bookmarks, and the option to log out. To get started searching for courses and videos, you can use the library drop-down button and browse by topic. If you click on library, you can scroll through all the awesome topics by alphabetical order. You also have the option to browse topics by using the search bar. The search bar lets you search for specific words or phrases and then gives you a list of results. For example, we can search for project manager. This is a pretty popular topic as there are over 18,000 videos related to project managing. Narrow your search down by filtering the results using the filter options on the left. You can filter by type, skill level, duration, subjects, software, companies, and authors. You can also search other courses based on an author you like. Click on that author's name in the video to be taken to the author's page where you can read a brief biography and browse the list of courses by that author. Once you've located a course you'd like to watch and you've clicked on it, you'll be taken to that course's page. Let's go over the basic layout of the course page. The table of contents allows you to scroll through to see each chapter and video title within the course. The notebook tab allows you to take notes on the course. Your notes will automatically organize themselves based on the chapter number and title. Plus, you can revisit your notes over and over again. You can also export your notes in a Word file, PDF, or Google Doc. The overview tab displays the description of the course so you can see what the course covers, who it's designed for, and other relevant information. The transcript tab is where you can read along with each video as it plays. The view offline tab allows you to download the content for offline viewing. The exercise file tab allows you to download files to support your learning. 
Make sure you have the necessary software to load or run the files. You can use the exercise files to follow along and practice the lesson while watching the videos. When the video starts, the video player controls have become visible. The transcripts have automatically started scrolling, and the text in the transcript will highlight along with the audio. This way, you can see exactly where you are in the video at any time. The eye icon in the table of contents has become visible, indicating that the video is being watched. Bookmarking courses allows you to mark and remember helpful videos you'd like to reference in the future. Bookmark a video by clicking on the bookmark icon located next to the video title. Access your bookmarks by going to your profile and then selecting bookmarks. In each of your bookmarks, you can add additional notes for reference. Learning paths are a great way to transform your current career, transition into a new career, brush up on skills for your current job, or pump up your resume. Popular learning paths are on the top of your homepage, but you can click See All for a more comprehensive list. Learning paths are a more in-depth and focused set of videos with a specific goal. For example, you might select the learning path Improve Your Organizational Skills. In this learning path example, you can see these courses will boost your productivity by managing time more efficiently, creating effective to-do lists, and sharpening your focus on what matters most. The main three things that these videos will focus on is managing your time more efficiently, prioritizing your tasks with effective to-do lists, and protecting your focus from daily distractions. Learning paths will let you know how many hours of video are included, supplemented with practice, while certifying your learning and advancing your career. When you complete a course, a certificate of completion is automatically generated for you. To view your certificates, click on your account, then click on certificates. From here, you are able to view or print your certificates. Want to let colleagues or other people know you've completed a lynda.com course? Simply click on the share button to post your accomplishments on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. There's also an option to share with others with a direct link. A great place to start if you have questions or need to troubleshoot is to click on any of the How Do I links at the bottom of any page. These links will take you to a searchable database of common questions and their answers. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can call the Digital Services Desk at 847-663-6606 or use the chat feature on our website at www.nileslibrary.org.